We've got the fun size Tetra X1 from Panda Hobby. It's a ready to run 1 18th scale mini rock crawler. This coffee table warrior is perfect for indoor or small space adventures with four wheel drive, solid axles, working LEDs and more. So today, let's check it out. The Tetra X1 wheelbase comes in at 5.9 inches, which looks big compared to this Axial 124th scale Deadbolt at 133 and a half millimeter wheelbase. The Tetra is almost a whole inch wider too at 4.72 inches over the Deadbolt's 3.9 inch width. But next to the team associated CR12 112th scale crawler and the proper 110th scale Axial Deadbolt, you get the picture of the fun sized Tetra X1 and its desk conquering capabilities. One of the coolest things about having a fun sized RC is it's lightweight, so it's easy to carry, bring with you and transport, but it's also really mobile if you don't have much cargo space in your full size car. The Tetra will pretty much fit in a backpack or a bag, so it's super easy to deal with compared to something uh, a bigger, heavier, large scale RC rig. The biggest thing about the Tetra X1 is the Lexan body that comes scaled out and pushes the Tetra overall length to 10.3 inches or 263 millimeters. Now the cool thing about the body is that it comes pre-painted and it's available in blue, orange, red, and yellow. And it features hard molded plastic accents like the plastic door handles, windshield wipers, side mirrors, hood cowl, front and rear bumpers, front grille with working LEDs, spare tire holder, spare tire, working rear LEDs, and a light bar on the roof. And all the LEDs can be turned on and off with the channel three switch on the transmitter with the exception of the rear LEDs, which turn on when you brake or reverse. The blacked out windows are decals, but the roof is painted black on all the body color options. Under the body, the LED wiring connects to the all-in-one ESC and receiver unit that features a low voltage cutoff for the included batteries, as well as the LED connectors. We also have a good look at the rest of the truck and see a proper C-channel chassis rails in a raw metal finish. Up front, the steering servo is a proper servo on axle setup with the servo mounted on top of the axle floating in between the chassis rails with plenty of clearance. The solid front and rear axles feature lockers for full time four wheel drive and connect through a four link setup front and rear. Lastly, the truck has aluminum bodied oil filled shocks. So the truck is set up to perform, not just to look at. Now for power, the Tetra features 180 sized 51 tooth brushed Panda Hobbies motor. And with the transmitter, you can select from low, medium and high speed. The three speed settings are achieved electronically by limiting the power delivery. So there's no actual mechanical gear shifting. Here is the low speed. And medium. And high. Okay, we're trying this one more time. Here's low. Low speed is the smoothest setting, but lacks some of the needed torque for overcoming more technical obstacles. And here's high. High speed, of course, unleashes all the power and torque, but makes the truck jerky when you're trying to be smooth on the throttle. Here's medium. We found the medium setting to be best where the truck had enough torque, but wasn't giving you whiplash from the smallest trigger squeeze but I still wish the truck was just a little bit smoother. Quick note, Panda Hobbies has updated or reprogrammed the speed controllers in the Tetra X1. An older truck, the blue body color that we were using earlier is an older truck, and that's why the throttle just felt a little bit uh, less smooth. This yellow truck, as well as all of the current Tetra X1 trucks that we have, have been updated so they are much smoother and crisper on that bottom throttle control on the trigger and let me show you so right now i have it on the lowest setting on the transmitter for the three position throttle so you can see my trigger finger i'm going to be as smooth as possible let's try it on medium
it requires a lot less throttle throw on the trigger, although I would say it's just as smooth as, as low. Okay, now high. It should not require much th trigger throw at all. So high's a little bit jerkier than low, of course, because with low, it's kind of like Expo, where you just have a whole lot more trigger throw to control that low end power. It's pretty smooth that in this initial launch, it has a little bit of a jerk to it, but then you can actually let off a little bit to get it to creep a little bit more ever so slightly. So a big improvement, and it's cool that all of the X1s feature that reprogrammed ESC. Since the included battery provides about 30 minutes of runtime, that gives you a lot of time to conquer your table terrain. And there are two batteries included. They are Li-Ion batteries. They're two cells and 500 milliamps each. And they charge in about 30 minutes from the included USB charger. This gives you plenty of time to get crawling whenever and wherever you are. We most often just crawled over whatever miscellaneous items we could find and had a go at it. When the truck is mini-sized, it's like seeing your whole world for the first time and you start finding ordinary items to drive over. Oh hey, look at that, let's add this stapler. Oh dang, look at that flex. So the Tetra X1 is a lot of fun. It's perfect indoors if maybe the outside weather is really bad or maybe you're going out of town and your Yeti isn't practical for the hotel room or for whatever reason, the Tetra X1 is a lot of fun to play with and it's pretty good to look at too. For the seasoned RCer who maybe just needs a fun RC to play with indoors in the off season, or maybe just a beginner who needs to get used to a transmitter and learning throttle control, the Tetra X1 is a no fuss, charge and go, fun sized RC truck. It's fully assembled, includes the double A's for the transmitter and then the two batteries for the vehicle and it's available in four different colors. If you guys have any questions on the Tetra X1, leave us a question down below. And if you'd like more information, be sure to check out our links down below as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to subscribe for our future videos. I'm Brett from A Main Hobbies. Thanks for watching. Burp, 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 burp.